Well done. A coffee break for Kaylee. I'm a professional dancer and a rolfer. As a rolfer, I help you with your posture and alignment and to find more ease. So every day right now, I'm doing a little coffee break, movement break. So come and join and then go and drink your favourite thing, coffee or tea or glass of wine if you're doing this in the evening. So we're going to sit on the floor today, but if you're not comfortable with that, then you can sit on a chair and I'll show you a different way of doing it. So if you're fine to sit on the floor, you sit uh, on, your, on your knees. Yeah, and my feet are tucked under and my knees are kind of spread apart a bit. Yeah. And if you're on the chair, just find your sit bones, have your feet planted underneath your knees. Good. Uh, yeah, and feel, as I said before, a bit more like a sack of potatoes than a person, just for a tiny bit. Especially in the upper, which really means we can just let any of the effort go. Yeah, and come a bit more into your back. Nice. Good, so I show you, we're going to raise the arms and don't do any efforting, like in, in uh, curving the back as you raise them, right? Leave the sack of potato in this and it's like the arms can just drift up and you should be able to see the hands. So they can just drift up. It's like an exercise we've done before, but on the floor this time, yeah. And the, the backs of the hands touch and you look at them and then they come down, they fall down like leaves, like your hands are autumn leaves, yeah. And I'm not bending my elbows, I've got a nice curve in my arms and that's nice, I'll tell you why later, yeah. And you can have a feeling also that you're like painting with your hands, like finger painting. Yeah, as they fall and land back in your lap. Great, then we're gonna go front and feel your heart going front and your lips are kind of heavy and your hands are feeling the texture of the floor, yeah? So you let your heart go front so we're not holding any inner tension. Yeah, the heart is like heavy and going front, the lips are heavy. Yeah, we rest our heads. Good, and then we come back and we think as we come back of our sit bones, the bones in our bum, pointing back behind us, or maybe that we have a tail and it's dragging us back. Yeah. And that's how we come back. Good, so on a chair, yeah, we find a good place for our feet. We join the hands, the same falling leaves and painting. Yeah, we land our hands on our knees and we just feel the texture, we feel our heart go front, the heavy lips, we feel the texture of our trousers or our legs, yeah. We hang the head. And then again, we feel the, the sit bones reaching, reaching back, the bones in our bum. And that's what brings us back. Gently. Yeah. Always feeling a kind of delicate care for the heart as we do it. Yeah. Okay, so we're good to go with some sounds. She's got the leaf car on. It's called Only the Wings, this piece. on your chair or on the ground, sack of potatoes going into your back, yeah. float the hands, they touch and you look, floating down, sinking, and then reach and feel and find Floating, falling, 
Falling, reaching. Settling. Great. Be nice. So the same as when we do this sitting and just with the raising arms, it's really good to get our our chest and our arms out of the habits of doing, typing, playing tennis, working, cooking, whatever it is that we get very dewy with. Um, so the breath can be more free, yeah, and it can also then help our anxieties and tensions, yeah. And with the reaching, this also helps us, yeah, not holding in the inner, in our inner world around the heart and things. And this is really important. We need to let go into what's happening, which is really the only thing we can do pretty well. Great. Thanks for joining. See you next time. <laughs>